All right, so we're, we're talking about sound effects and adding external audio. It's actually pretty easy, but there's a couple of things that I want to go over first. First off, chances are very likely that you're not going to be using any audio that is attached to your clips. Or if you are, you may be using audio for just one of your clips or maybe two of your clips, not all of them. If it bothers you that they have audio, okay, because here I'm talking over, okay, I'm talking over the shot. We don't need that. So what I can do is I can click on a clip or a series of clips and I can go up to the modify menu and you can see here there's this thing called link and I'm going to hide and I click that which now notice there's no check mark next to it and once I do that you'll notice that here on this clip I can click off of it now I can actually click on the audio or the video separately whereas with the other ones you'll notice that whenever I click on one or the other it also highlights the opposite. So if I click on the audio, it highlights the video and vice versa. But here, now that I've unlinked these two, I can click on one. And you'll notice that the name of the track here is underlined, and here it's not. Okay? The video track is not underlined. That's an indicator that it's not linked to the audio anymore. So I can now click on that audio, and I can delete it. So the first thing you can do is you can get rid of clips where you don't want the audio. I actually recommend not doing that though. Okay, just to put that out there. I recommend not doing that. Why do I recommend not doing that? Because you never know. Sometimes you might actually want that audio back later on. So what I think is better is to actually just turn that off. So over here, you have these two buttons here. Just turn those two tracks off and even lock them if you want to. Well, actually, it's probably not a good idea. Just turn them off. And now they won't make any sound and we're ready for our, our audio. If you're going to be using a song that you got off the internet, like a popular song, an MP3 or whatever, you have to bring it in from home, cap copy it into the scr uh, Capture Scratch disk, okay, or the Capture Scratch folder, I should say and then you just right click and import it just like we did with the Blue Horizon. I'm not worried about that, that's actually pretty easy. The one thing I want to say about that is make sure that it's not a copyright protected MP4 from iTunes. If it's a locked I, uh, MP4, Final Cut Pro will not import it. You have to convert it to an MP3 um, before you bring it in. And you can do this from within iTunes, by the way. And there's tutorials on the internet on how to do that. And then you just bring the MP3 in and you're fine. Um, <clears throat> or if you get it somewhere, like a different source, like Amazon or something like that, you won't have to worry about it at all. But we're not going to worry about that. That's easy. I want to show you sound, real sound effects here. So this is a little bit complicated because Apple would tell you just to go straight into Soundtrack Pro to do this. But I like to do as much as I can in Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to show you how to start adding these sound effects in Final Cut Pro, even though you're supposed to move into Soundtrack Pro. What you do is you're going to go onto the Macintosh hard drive. You're going to click the hard drive. Then there's this folder called the library. You're going to click that. Then you're going to see another folder called the audio. And then you have this other folder called Apple Loops. Once you get into that, Okay, now you're going to see we've got a lot of stuff going on here, but you can see we've got Apple Loops, Soundtrack Pro, and Apple Loops GarageBand, and you can use any of them. Um, and, and a lot of these, the GarageBand stuff is all musical, but you can use them to create a background music if you wanted to, say something like this, and you can play them right here in the Finder to test them. Now what I want you to recognize about these, they're called loops for a reason. They're made to be copied one after another and to just keep on going. So what ends up happening, and it's actually pretty cool, the last note is like the same of, as the first note. So I can put two of these in a row and it would just continue the loop. And all of these are like that. 
Really cheesy. I hear a Hallmark movie coming on right now. Yes, yeah, definitely Hallmark, okay? Um, you know, 80s dance, cool. Yeah. Love it. It's almost, that's almost Beverly Hills Cop, but not quite. So they were able to get away with that one. XLF, right? That's the name of that song. It's so close, but not quite. Yeah, and you can layer things as much as you wanted to, absolutely. You can do some really cool stuff. Now, there's also all sorts of blue, you know, blues, jazz. Ooh, organ. Wow, that's pretty, that's pretty bad. And that can just keep going. There we go. Sad, 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 very sad. Now, it's not just this stuff, though. Now, take a look. In GarageBand, the loops are all in one folder. No big deal. You have edgy rock, edgy rock guitar, okay? And each one is pretty close to its description. Okay, and that can literally be played over and over and over again. And so here's the thing. So let's just take a look at this now. I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to drag it straight into the browser in Final Cut Pro. Boom. Now I've got it in Final Cut Pro, and I can copy it down here to my, um, to my track. Now notice that when I do that, there's a red line up here in the timeline that means it has to be rendered. But I can, once I render it, Command R, that was fast. Now, because it's a loop, Remember I told you it's meant to be repeated multiple times. Here's one thing I hate about Final Cut Pro. It's very easy to drag with the Option key and create a copy. But if you do that, notice I've got the right, hand turn, uh, right arrow. Let's, let me do that again just to show you, but a little closer. If I Option drag, I have that right arrow. I cannot get the down arrow. So whatever I do, it splits apart everything. I hate it. So what's easier to do then is to either copy it to the end of the timeline and then move it back, okay? Or just keep dragging it down from up above. And make sure snapping is on so that you have uh, everything coming together. Now, notice the first one was rendered, but the other three are still not rendered here. So we have to highlight them all. And you can actually also see, look, see how the line changed color from blue to green? So when I highlight these all, Command R, they render really fast, especially if it is a clip that's repeated over and over again. Final Cut Pro is smart and renders them all. Maybe not the best loop in the world, but you get the idea, okay? I'll take questions in a minute because I don't have a ton of time here. So, um, so that's one thing. Let's take a look at some of the others here. If you go into Apple Soundtrack Pro Loops, now all of a sudden you can have a whole series of subfolders. If you go into Apple Loops, you're going to see these guys' names here. And if you click on them, they just have a ton of stuff in here. Uh, electric bass. And it's literally bass stuff that's just like, again, loops. And these, in my opinion, are a lot better than the loops that are in the garage band, at least most of them, okay? And there's just a ton of great And it just keeps on going. Oh, it got lower. Now that's a good one. Let's drag that one in. And let's take a look at the way it changes. So I'm just going to drag that right in here. There we go. And I'm going to get rid of the edgy ones that I did there. And let's take this baseline here. And I'm just going to drag that in. It's a lot longer, too, which is kind of nice. So I'm just going to, we'll just do two. And then I'm going to render. It takes a little bit more time, but not much. Oh, we're having freak out in Final Cut Pro here. Sorry. 
But just listen to the music. Now you can see they're skipping a little bit there, so I need to probably overlap them a touch. So when you start to do stuff like this, one of the things I remember, and this should be review, go to your sequence, right click on your sequence, go to settings, timeline options, show audio waveforms. And so now I can actually zoom in here, right? And I can see where one should start and the other one should begin. I can probably start to kind of set them up. So let's listen to that. Ah, oh, I did that right on the first time. Not bad. Listen to it again. Just by overlapping them a little bit. I got, I got that pretty good. I was just guessing. Not bad. So you can do a lot of editing of the sounds and stuff, but that's not all. That's not all. If you go back here a little bit and go to Detroit Chop Shop or Sound Ideas, there's a whole, I mean, power effects loops, there's all sorts of bass, drums, DJs, horns, and wind instruments, there's just tons of stuff. But the chops, Chop Shop and Sound Ideas have awesome stuff. Um, I like the Sound Ideas better. Explosions. See, I mean, it's an explosion, nothing really. That one's particularly good there. It's You know, I mean, there's, and there's just tons of stuff. Oh, here's some of my favorite ones. Let's see. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. That's a good one. You know. All right. Uh. It's like a party, you know, something like that. Here's kids, Walla. <laughs> so they they have some good they have some good stuff in here, you know. All right. Again, guys, guys, it's really simple. If you want something like that, you just drag it in. Drag it into the browser. Guys, drag it into the browser so that it shows up before you drag it into the timeline. Okay, just so that you have it up here. Now, one last thing to show you. I also have a whole bunch of what we call royalty-free music. Most of it's really cheesy really cheesy but it's there go to pen media fs media shared information library digital video and then there's the royalty free music folder and there's a whole bunch of them in here and they they're pretty bad but um well some of them aren't but night out ooh here we go <laughs> But, you know, there's, there are some good ones in here. They're not all bad. Okay? And again, you just drag them in. <laughs> 